Okay, happy Sunday, guys. Hope you're all having a great day out there. Maybe watching some football, studying some stocks, looking at the charts. And in this video, I mean, you guys saw the title. You clicked on it. We're going to break down Palantir stock. Go over the charts, my thoughts, what I'm looking to do, and overall where I see the charts pointing heading into this week. As you guys probably remember, we had a very good day on Friday, up around 5%. So we have to just do an update, do a refresher. So guys, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, come on and get your free stocks for Moomoo. Check out the link down below, open up your account and fund it with at least $100. You get five free stocks and a $30 cash reward and fund your account with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks and overall your uninvested cash for now will earn up to 8.1%. APY, which guys, it's limited time, clock's ticking, it's a no-brainer, so use that link down below or go to stasurfest.com slash moomoo and let's get right into the video. So like I said, you guys know, or at least you should know, maybe you don't remember, I'll tell you right now, we had a 5% green day on Friday. We opened up at around $61.40. And we had multiple pops throughout the day. I mean, you guys saw we popped that open pretty aggressively uh, from $61.40 all the way to about $63. Then we pulled down to about $61.75. Then we rallied all the way up to $64. Uh, then we kind of coasted there into close. We popped actually into open or into close, excuse me, uh, to the mid 64s. You guys see that. And then we coasted um, in the aftermarket right around there. So, guys, we're looking good. Definitely on the intraday chart here. And if I pull up the other time frames on the five day, now you're noticing, OK, we had a bit of a sell off uh, about a week ago. To start off the week, last week, we got down to 58. And then on Friday, you can see we actually broke out of all of um, the, uh, the the previous highs from the week, right? We, uh, we hit a fresh high on Friday, which is always a good sign heading into the next week for the following week, which we're getting into now. So clearly trend is starting to favor the bulls again in the short term. Uh, as again, we're breaking out to a fresh multi-day high here. And you guys probably remember the head and shoulders we were talking about, right? Do you guys remember that? It looks like now we're breaking out of the neckline heading into this week. We have the left shoulder there, the head's right here, the right shoulder's here. And I told you guys, look, keep your eyes on that neckline at about 63.30, 63.50, and uh, clearly, if I zoom in, we're breaking out of there. We we closed above it. We're holding above it as support. Um, we're, we're using it as support. That's a great sign. So I like the way we're, uh, we look right now heading into this week. And obviously, now that we took out the neckline, the next main resistance here, if I clear the drawing set, uh, give me a second here, guys, if I draw this out. Uh, we have one critical one at about 65, 65, 50. We hit that point, it looks like, on the 15th of November. In the middle of the day that day, uh, we hit 65, 50. And then shortly thereafter, if I zoom in here, we hit the all-time high, which is $67.44, which honestly didn't even hit during the day. I mean, it still counts as an all-time high, but we hit that in the pre-market, um, whereas the uh, the 65.30 level, we hit that during the day on the 15th, like I said. So I guess the intraday all-time high is around 65.30, which that could be the next spot we test. If that breaks, then we're going to go potentially to the actual all-time high, which is $67.45, roughly. That could be the next gap. Uh, that fills here. You guys see it right here. So I like the way we're looking right now. Am I necessarily buying shares here because of that? No, I'll be honest, guys. Um, I'm in at $21. I'm up a lot on this position. 
and I'm not willing to add more at these levels. Sure, if it pulls down like we've covered in other videos, if different scenarios play out, which is possible, okay, I'll buy more. If it comes down somehow to the 40s again, you know, if it comes down to the 30s again somehow, I don't think that's going to happen unless we get an overall crash, maybe a black swan event. Who knows if that happens? It might. You never know. Uh, but for now, I'm just holding on, like I'm sure a lot of you guys are doing as well. Let me know, by the way, in the comments what you guys are doing heading into this week. But overall, that's what we're looking like. And here on the four hour chart, uh, PLTR is clearly bouncing off of the 50 SMA. Very good news. Uh, we're well above the 180 SMA, no doubt about that. That's at $49 on this chart, although it will continue to creep up to the low 50s as the days go on and as we're well above uh, the 60s. You know, that's kind of how moving averages work. You know, it takes the last whatever days average. Y y you guys get the point, right? So we're, we'll, we'll trend up considering we're very high now in terms of price. Um, or the, uh, the 180 SMA will trend up higher. Uh, either way, you know, I think if it comes down towards that moving average, that's where I would buy more stock. But for now, like I said, I'm just holding on and let me know what you guys are doing in the comments. And by the way, run the likes up, make sure to subscribe here on YouTube and get on the email list or in the email list, whatever, put your first name, your email. It's free. By the way, I'm sending you my top three stocks every Monday, right to your inbox. So guys make sure to sign up in the description box. Also pinned in the comment section down below. So let me see. Uh, let's see here. Some other stocks that I was looking at. I don't have them on my notes here. I should have added them on my notes. Now they're slipping my mind, of course. That's how it goes, guys. But a couple of other ones that are hot on my watch list right now heading into this week. Um, let's see. Starbucks is creeping a little bit, over 100 bucks again. Uh, looks like it is starting to break out of this sideways uh, trading that, that it was seeing, arguably an ascending triangle as well. So clearly that is starting to break out. We're trading at multi-month highs. So Starbucks for sure is worth watching at this point. Uh, very beaten down stock. Companies hurt in no doubt. Uh, they, they got a new CEO, right? I think. Um, either way, they're worth watching. Stock is moving in the right direction. Finally, uh, we also have CRM continuing to move. Salesforce Heading into this week, which, by the way, how how is this not? Or, oh, no, they're not this week. They're the week after. Don't worry. We'll break this one down more before earnings. They're on the 3rd of December, it looks like. Uh, but, yeah, Salesforce keeps on going, guys. We're now testing the highs from, it looks like, the middle of November. We're about to at about 348, 345. If that breaks... This could be going to another high, it looks like, on the four-hour, maybe another all-time high. Yeah, another all-time high, and who knows, maybe earnings uh, pushes it there. And this is another epic buy-the-dip opportunity, man, that I personally missed. I'll be honest, I didn't buy CRM, but, man, I wish I did, you know. Uh, can't win them all. Can't win them all. We talked about in my last video how I bought CrowdStrike after it got nailed, that's bounced back now. I've made some good money on CrowdStrike. I wish I bought CRM as well. But, yeah, you can't win them all, guys. We are up around now 60% off the lows on CRM. And, I don't know, looks like investors are excited about earnings. They're piling into the stock. Maybe they're expecting something. Time will tell. Earnings are coming up soon here for CRM. But with that being said, I don't want to go too long in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to get your free stocks for Moomoo guys. You have a couple more days, I think five more days, four more days to get 
on this deal. Use that link down below. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least $100, listen, guys, you get five free stocks and a $30 cash reward and fund your account with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks and overall your uninvested cash will earn up to 8.1% APY. Guys, I'm telling you, get on this deal. Use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash moomoo and I'll catch you guys in the next video.